way to the station. Just left my house now. I've got to catch a train to Euston first and then um, catch the overnight train then to Fort William. Time for another adventure. My third national trail this year. I boarded the sleeper train at Euston and found my seat. So I'm on the train. Um, I got a cheeky upgrade <laughs> to a room with a bunk bed. So yeah, I've got my own room and I am gonna sleep all the way to Scotland. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Wow, a free upgrade. Now that was a lovely surprise and a cracking start to my Great Glen Way adventure. I had a lovely sleep and enjoyed the early morning scenery coming into Fort William. So I'm just gonna set up now and then I'll take you for a little look around this campsite. I've been here before, stayed here the last night at the West Island Way. It's gorgeous, so I'll show you around. Glen Nevis campsite is located just two miles from Fort William and is situated right at the foot of Ben Nevis. It's the perfect place to stop before starting the trail and costs £11 per person per night. Very good morning everybody. Yes, I know I look like a beekeeper, but this is a midgenet and thank the God I've got it because it is swarming! We are at the Glen Nevis campsite where we stayed last night. Um, we're about to get into town, get a Mackey's breakfast, yum yum yum, and then get started on the Great Glen Way. Very exciting times. I am alive with excitement. Woo! Forecast rain all day. However, We've got our waterproof sun, so we are on it, like a gin and tonic. So we've got our first disaster of the trip so far. We haven't even left the campsite. Jordan's bladder bag has just leaked everywhere all over his rucksack. So we are now currently in the laundrette, trying to quickly sort it out before we leave for town. As we dried off some bits, we had a laundrette rave to the radio and then set off into town. Hi, this is Dizzy and Jordan reporting live from McDonald's in Fort William. Uh, we're about to start the Great Glen Way and we thought the best way to do it is to have a stomach full of dirty Mackies. Yeah. And we're off. The three amigos, 75 miles to Inverness. We got this. Right, we are almost by the canal bit here. I can see a nice little sign there. It is pissing it down, but we don't care. Nice and bright. Look, you ain't gonna miss me with this fluorescent bag cover. We've got Jordan in the background. Hey. We've got Charlotte in her new shoes. Ooh, Ooh new shoes, Vicar. <laughs> and we are ready to rock and roll. I've known Jordan since we were 17, and this is his first ever hiking and wild camping trip plus his first ever trip to Scotland. So he was really excited to be ticking some things off his bucket list. I met Charlotte when we did the Cumbria Way a few weeks ago, and she'd literally just finished the West Highland Way the day before we set off doing the Great Glen. She's hardcore. We are taking our first snack stop. Where are we? Cool! <laughs> there he is, Jordanian. Okay, the new. Just having a little snooze, a little nap on the floor. Why not? Day one on the Great Glen Way was fairly straightforward, simply following the Caledonian Canal. So a nice flat walk to ease us into the trail gently. Before too long, we'd reached Neptune's staircase, Scotland's longest staircase lock, eight flights deep. They didn't have Guinness, but I'm having a cheeky little lager there. Jordan is enjoying a nice coffee and cake, and Charlotte's just getting a hot chocolate. Uh, so far, so good. Uh, it's still spitting a little bit, but we are managing absolutely fine. Doing a good job. I think that McDonald's breakfast set us up for the day, to be fair. We carried on enjoying looking at all the boats, and the bad weather didn't bother us. If you didn't have a few rainy days, were you really even in Scotland? The first designated world camping site we came across was Moy Bridge. 
This was around nine miles into the trail. It was a nice flat area with plenty of space, but we decided to press on a little further as it was still quite early. So we have pitched up um, at Gerlocky. Uh, I'll show you around in just a second. And it's lovely, the rain has stopped. We're right by uh, the boats there, very pretty. I'm obviously rocking this midge net, making it look fucking cool. Um, I'll show you where we've pitched up, it's a really sweet spot. Gerlocky Trailblazer site is around 11 miles in and has a lockside bathroom and laundry facilities. You can access these with a key. You can hire the key from the canals office in Fort William. Hi, I'm Kerry. Hi, and I'm Jordan. And today we are cooking lentil curry and rice in the laundrette nice. of Gerlocky. And uh, basically, it's very midgy out there. It's a little bit rainy. <laughs> so we come into the laundrette. Use our special key. Thank you very much. Um, to, have a secret key. I know. Thank you very much to Stuart and Davy Boy. He goes well for posting it to me. Thank Gabby you. Gabby Glitter, the key to the shitter. I will have to read you the uh, funny letter that they sent me as well. But yeah, so basically, it's damp and it's midgy. So we're going to cook inside the laundrette. Cooking up a storm. Let's do it. The first thing you need is a camp stove. We have a camp stove. What else do we need, Jordan? A lighter. A lighter. Do you have a lighter? I think, I do. Oh, there is a little lighter on this, look. Oh yeah, it's self lights. Self lights. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, then we just need some pots. Let's do this. We're cooking in the sink of the laundrette. Boom. My highlight of today's day, not only like the, the walk was beautiful, but then we found this like beautiful like wild camping spot like by a lake. And Kerry's got a secret key to the facilities block, so we've currently sat in the lovely warm laundrette room, and we've got like nice warm heated showers. We can have a shower before bed. My highlight of the day was having lovely deep and meaningful along the way. Yeah. I like doing that. On the, when you're on the trail and you have deep conversations with people, it's been lovely. Yeah. My highlight of the day was the snacks. <laughs> Time for our first brew of the trail. If any of you out there enjoy fresh ground coffee and want to try some premium fair trade organic Ethiopian blend, you can find Coffee Ella on Amazon. And here's a 10% discount code to use. Enjoy! Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch! Scratching about in the tent. We're scratching about in the tent. <laughs> Two scratches together. Good morning, everybody. Okay, it is the start of day two on the Great Glen Way. We had a lovely sleep last night. I had some crazy dreams, but it was all good. Uh, we've been across. We've had showers in the little um, facilities over there. Massive thanks once again to David Boy Goes Wild and Stuart for sending me the key, Gary Glitter. I'll tell you all about that a little bit later. But uh, you can get a key that gives you access to uh, various toilets and shower facilities along the way, which was lovely. And yeah, we've had our little porridge making session in the laundrette and we're about to set off. Day two on the trail. We packed away camp and made sure to leave no trace before setting off again. Although it was a little bit cloudy, it was staying dry. We had a little stop so Jordan could hug some trees and connect with nature in some gorgeous woodland before reaching the shores of Loch Lochoy. Now if you're watching this and are thinking of doing the Great Glen Way, I'm going to give you a bit of a spoiler alert. 
it gets a lot more beautiful as the days go on. But even now, look at this, stunning. Charlotte had been suffering with swollen feet from the West Highland Way and was in quite a bit of pain. So when we reached the shore, she decided a nice dip might cool them down. So here we are by the lock and the guys have just done some cold water swimming. Here we go. How are you feeling guys? Hey, energised. Invigorated. Oh. <laughs> yes, time for my daily dance. I was loving Scotland and I was feeling awesome. Onwards to Lagan Lock. We've just stopped for a well-needed uh, lunch break. I think we're all flagging a little bit. We're literally just sat by the side of the road because that is how we roll. Hunger struck. But feeling lots better now and we are gonna push on. We're gonna try and get to Lagan tonight because we heard there's a bar there and we want to have a cheeky drink. <laughs> so that'd be lovely. I think there's probably about another, what do you think, about six miles? Yeah. About yeah. six miles to go. I just want to take this opportunity to do a quick shout out to Adam, Justin and Charlotte who all helped me out with a few bits of gear for this trail. Thank you, much appreciated. You're all absolute legends. We have three miles left to go to get to Lagan, uh, to the bar, very excited. We're all doing okay. At the minute it's just started to rain a little bit, but nothing too extreme, so. All right. The next trailblazer campsite we came across was Glass Door. If I've pronounced that wrong, let me know in the comments or anything else wrong. It's around 10 miles on from Gerlocky and is in a beautiful location right on the lock with fire pits, a shelter and compost toilets. We chose, however, to carry on for three miles to get to the pub. And the welcome party to the... <laughs> Hey, gonna have some fun. <laughs> yes, Jordan is free and single and looking for love. Anyone interested? Let us know in the comments. We are almost at the pub. We've got about half a mile to go. I'm getting very excited now. Woohoo! Woohoo! We made it to Lagan. So we are in the Eagle in Lagan and we are being very very classy and having a large white wine with a dash of apple ties because we need sugar 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 classy bird we ordered a few more for good measure and then had a lovely meal at the eagle pub hey There's a great wild camping spot here. There's also a shower block across the other side of the bridge you can access with your canal key. A very good morning, everybody. Okay, little update. So Charlotte is taking a couple of rest days because she um, has got a bad knee and she's just on the West Island Way and it's all a bit much. Um, so it's just me and Jordan now, unsupervised, uh, carrying on for a bit and we'll see what happens today. And then there were two. Poor Charlotte. We trotted off on the trail nice and early and wondered what today might have in store. Along the way, Jordan started to tell me all about his new blog, Jordan's Journey. He was writing it for Eco Freak Interiors and it detailed how he's embarking on an eco friendly lifestyle. Now, if anyone's interested, I'll leave all of the details in the video description below. We stopped for a little break. Uh, luckily, it's just drizzling now. It's not even raining heavy. Like this morning when we first woke up, it was pissing it down. And we were thinking, oh shit. But yeah, it's calmed down a lot, which is great. Um, we had to leave Charlotte, like I said before, but um, hopefully she'll catch us up in a few days when her legs feeling a little bit better. Jordan's just gone to do as bears do in the woods. So he's left me sitting on a rock just by the lock here. Um, yeah, we're getting on all right so far. Having a lovely time. Fairly early on, we reached another Trailblazer World campsite, Lita Fern. This one is around 28 miles into the trail on the shores of Loch Oik. Hi, I'm Kerry. 
Hi, and I'm Jordan. And today we are eating Moroccan style couscous with mackerel. On a bench. Mm. By the lock. And it's all brewing. Great. The campsite has composting toilets, a fire pit and plenty of space for multiple tents. We had a lovely lunch and a bit of a mad half hour. I'm going to blame the sugar rush. But you know what they say, what goes up must come down. And it wasn't long before we hit a sugar slump. So we're about halfway there now. We've walked all the way around one lock and we took a break and we are craving milkshakes, McDonald's or just anything sweet. Oh. We're almost out of snacks. This is not good. We don't get to a shop to uh, restock until tomorrow about lunchtime. And yeah, like uh, Jordan said, we want milkshake, I want chocolate, we want all the naughty things in the world. I just need sugar. And we've only got savoury stuff now. Bye-bye. We passed a few more locks along the canal and headed for the next Trailblazer campsite where we intended to pitch up that night. Then something amazing happened. The sun came out for the first time this whole trip. And it was marvellous. Before long, we reached Kytra Lock and checked out the wild camping area across the bridge. It was so beautiful. The pitch was sunny and picturesque. However, it was still quite early and the thought of getting an ice cream in Fort Augustus tempted us to do an extra four miles. We made it and we headed straight to the cafe. We got ice cream. Look at the size of this. Boom. <laughs> we found Charlotte again. There she is. <laughs> there he is. We're happy now we've eaten and we've got ice cream and the sun is out in a fabulous mood. What a lovely town to spend an afternoon in. There's also a great shop in the petrol station to stock up your supplies and public toilets if you need them. So we've just left for Augustus and now we are um, doing a little climb out. We're taking the high route because, you know, <laughs> why not? Um, and we got told by the lovely Stuart that there is a nice world camping location uh, just as you come um, onto the high route on the left hand side so we're going to attempt to find that and uh, world camp there for the night. So tonight we're doing a proper wild camp in the woods. We have been staying at the very lovely uh, Trailblazer sites uh, down by the canal there, but now we are on to the high route and uh, we found a little pitch for the night. I'm just gonna show you around, it looks like this. Uh, we did meet up with Charlotte earlier. Um, she's not with us now, you're probably wondering where she is. Um, unfortunately, we ate her, it, it couldn't be helped. <laughs> What a great pitch and right by your waterfall so we could have a nice wash. So I was just quite happily skipping back from the stream in my white pants after having a wash. A free cyclist drove by, <laughs> cycled by. What a life. After Jordan scared off the poor cyclists, we had a brew and got some sleep. Good morning everybody. Okay, we had a little camp out in the forest last night. It was wonderful. Uh, nice listening to all the birds and all the sounds. Uh, we are up now, we are packed away and we're just about to set off on the high route. So hopefully we'll get some gorgeous views over Loch Ness. So far it's dry, which is good. We may have some patches of sunshine. We're not sure yet, so fingers crossed. Leave no trace. Yes, I was pumped and ready to tackle the first high route section. Bring it on! Right, we're about two thirds of the way up to get to the high route. 
I'm knackered already. <laughs> <laughs> we thought, oh, we'll do it when we're fresh in the morning. Still absolutely shattered. It's steep. It's a long way up. Ah! Up until this point, the trailer had been pretty easy going compared to the other ones I've done so far. So I'd been looking forward to a bit of a challenge and also some incredible views. And I've got to say, I was not disappointed. We'd made it to the top. enough how much I recommend taking the high route option. It was definitely the highlight of the trail so far. The views looking down over Fort Augustus and Loch Ness were just insane. Perfect weather for drying pants. In case anyone was wondering what else was hanging off the back of Jordan's bag next to his pants, it's a pillowcase. He didn't have time to order a microfiber towel, so he'd been using a pillowcase as a towel instead. Very creative. We were having such a nice time taking it all in, and the best was still yet to come. The Great Glen Way is definitely a trail that improves as the days go on. It was almost midday as we made our way into Inverurriston to stop for lunch. We really hope you've enjoyed part one, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Part two is out next Friday. Thanks so much for watching.